bring dinner? Yes. Um, we had started talking about things that were going on. Um, and she had told us that um, she wouldn't admit or say that she had made the phone call to, uh -huh. make, the, to make the pizza delivery order. Um, but she said she knew who did. And she wouldn't tell us why, because she said that she didn't want to drag us into it. And at the time, I had just thought, you know, maybe she didn't want us to have to testify against Chad, um, you know, since we were friends with him. Um, so I didn't really think anything of it. Um, but she had said that um, there was a lot of evidence that the police had missed when they went um, through the house. Um, she never said what the evidence was. Um, she also said that something about the computer, that there was a lot of evidence on the computer that um, I don't know why they didn't take that. Um, but she had said that. Um, and, and this was during the, the dinner conversation? Yes. Who all was present? Um, at that point, my kids, we let them go. That wasn't a conversation that I asked, absolutely wanted them to hear. Um, so it was me and my husband, Ben, and Erica. Okay. But it was still, was this prior to any alcohol consumption? Yes. Okay. What was Erica's demeanor when she made some of those statements? Um, kind of like laughing, carefree. Gleeful in a way. Okay. Did she make any statements about being with Chad that night? Objection, lady. Overruled. Um, she had said um, that she had dropped Chad off where the crime occurred and that she had drove off and she never said where she waited for him. Um, but she said that she had waited for a phone call from him to come pick him up. So she did say that she was with him, but not at the scene of the crime. Okay. Did she say if she came to, did she say if he called and if she came to pick him up? Um, you know what? I honestly don't remember if she had said if he had come to pick her up or not. Did you give a statement, a written statement to the, uh, okay, you said he called. First she one. called and she, er, she was waiting for him to call. Right, okay. Did she state what happened after, or where did they go? Um, she had stated that, um, she made the comment about um, the car in the cornfield and that if um, the corn had grown higher, if it was later in the season, they wouldn't have found the car, they wouldn't have found her body. Um, but since it was kind of just, you know, beginning of summer, there wasn't really any crops growing that it was easily found. Um, and she said that uh, they had went out to Chad's grandma Betty's house to hide out behind the barn. Okay. And that was after the cornfield, going to the, the cornfield conversation part? Yes. Okay. Did she ever talk about Ashley during your conversation? Um, she did talk about Ashley, um, actually a lot over the course of, you know, our friendship and the time that we had been friends and spent together. Um, during the dinner conversation, it wasn't so much about Ashley in that conversation. Um, but she had talked about her before, pretty, she, she really kind of expressed her hate for her. Um, she had talked about, um, and I don't know how, how anybody could do this, but um, she talked about how she had 
gotten into her email and social media accounts and she could see what was what Ashley was doing, what she was saying, what she knew, um, things like that. Did she talk about after Ashley was murdered, anything she may have done um, in regards to Ashley? Um, she did say that after um, after everything had happened that she would visit Ashley's grave. And at one point I know that she had, um, she had said that she had defecated on her grave. And why did she say she did this? 